All right, let's talk taxes. How much do you think is enough for anyone, rich or poor? After listening to the president hammer home his message of wanting the wealthy to pay their fair share, whatever that means, a new report shows high-income families are now paying more taxes than they have in 30 years. We aren't here to just report on that. Our mission on money is to challenge the story that you're hearing everywhere else. So what if you raise taxes even higher from here? Will it help or hurt? Let's go to the numbers with Eric Schoenberg from Patriotic Millionaires. It is a group of American millionaires that want higher taxes on the wealthy. And Curtis Dubay, Senior Policy Analyst for Tax Policy at the Heritage Foundation. Eric, you know I'm going to start with you because I can't help it. Mm -hmm. You want to pay even higher taxes? Why? I think I should pay higher taxes. Why? Um, well, it's very basic, which is I think the country is facing some serious fiscal problems. I think we all are going to have to contribute to solve this problem. And I think it's perfectly reasonable that the people who've benefited the most from the system over the last half a century, really, and continue to do so, contribute their, their I'm, share. I'm sure you've crunched the numbers, though, and you know that if you confiscated the wealth, uh, all of the wealth, of the wealthiest 1%, 2%, even 5%, it wouldn't solve the problem. You confiscated all the wealth. But this is the point. It's not going to be any single individual thing that's going to solve this problem. It's going to be a combination of factors. And I don't have any objection to spending reductions, but I think that higher revenues have to be part of the solution. And I think that the wealthy, who have benefited enormously from the tax system over the last 25, 30 years should be contributing more. Curtis, what about the idea that they are already contributing more? I mean, that is sort of the point of this whole segment and, and a lot of the information that came out today from the Tax Policy Institute. Top 1% of households paying an average rate of 35.5%. The top 20% paying 27.2%. Those are the highest percentages in 30 years. So it, even if you bought into what Eric said, the wealthy are already paying more. So you want more on the more? Right. Eric, don't forget, I checked today. The Treasury is still accepting donations. So anytime you want to pay more, feel free to go to that website and make your donation. Warren Buffett can do it as well. Look, the, we're, we're at the situation now where we're reaching these all-time highs for the effective tax rates because of recent tax increases. Obamacare and the recent, recent fiscal cliff tax increase. They raised income tax rates. The income tax rate is the top income tax rate is now as high as it has as, as it's been since 1986. Raised tax on capital gains and, and dividends. Uh, raised, reduced deductions and limited personal exemptions. Yeah. All, add all that up, and it's driving it's driving taxes way higher than they've been in Eric, the past. Eric, that is a valid question, though. They're, so the wealthy are already paying more. What is enough? I mean, how much more do you think that w the wealthy should pay? Well, let's be clear about something too. Um, the current debate isn't really about the level of taxation. To it's not about tax rates. It's about deductions and exemptions. It's about the loopholes that litter our code and make people with wildly different incomes pay wildly different amounts. You know, this average tax rate that you're referring to doesn't apply to somebody like me who gets the majority of their income from investments. I've ne in the last 10 years, I've never paid more than 16 or 17 percent of my income in taxes. That's a luxury, though. I mean, there are a lot of people that have percent that are paying income tax on earned income. But, but, I mean, let's the but again, argue, to argue that we shouldn't do this because it doesn't apply to other people. people by yourself. Well, let's be clear. It does apply to the very wealthiest, the top 0.1% so of people. So would you lower the rate and close the loopholes? I mean, that's something Republicans talk about well, a lot again, on the Well, again, let's not side. talk about lowering the rates. Why not just close the loopholes? the loopholes? Why not just close the loopholes? We need additional income. I think most people do think it's unfair. So you do want the wealthy to pay more then? Because if you close the loopholes and you keep the rate where it is, you think that the wealthy should pay even I more than they are. I think people like myself there. should pay okay. more. And Curtis, let me ask you, do, what would be the impact on the economy if we went ahead with that? Do you think that there would be a detriment to the economy? I mean, you know, the Wall Street Journal says the top 20 percent of earners account for 38 percent of all spending. Does that argument to you mean they can afford to pay more? because they do 38% of the spending, or does it tell you they do 38% of the spending, so if we tax them even more, they might stop that spending that's helping the economy? Well, it's important to point out that, that that tax rate we're talking about before does include people like you, Eric, because it, it includes the tax that you paid before when you, you get your capital gains and dividends. It includes the corporate level, so it does include you. If we raise taxes higher, we're going we're going to slow the economy. It's going to hurt middle class and low income families that everyone wants to help because it's going to reduce the opportunities they have. It's going to it's going to reduce job opportunities, it's going to reduce wage growth. That's why we fight against tax increases. Not because we want to see Eric pay lower taxes or Warren Buffett pay, <laughs> pay lower taxes because it hurts right. those those of us. How do you down respond to that? There. Go ahead. Well, again, the 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 uh, the origin of this is observation that with the new tax increases, 
uh, the wealthy are going to be paying among the highest rate they, they paid since 1979. Well, you know, if you go back to 1979 and look at the 30-year period after 1979, uh, the average American saw an income gain of about 32 percent, whereas the top 1 percent saw an income gain of 155 percent. We have seen this enormous widening of wealth in the country. So you think and they why should they anybody be won't hurt spending? Well, you, you why should any be, be surprised that we've seen this income inequality grow okay. when people like me who are making money off of money we've already we already have are paying at such a lower rate. So what I want to hear is do you think income inequality is a problem? And if so, do you think that it makes sense to tax the wealthy at a lower rate Eric, than go ahead a working and respond American? To that and that's all the time we have. So go ahead, you get the last word. Sure. I, I, I certainly agree that income inequality is a problem, but I don't think that we can tax our way to solving it. I don't think we can take money away from you and give it to others and make that problem go away. In, in, income inequality arises from many factors, and it's largely not a pro, pro, cause of the tax code. Uh, what we need is we need economic growth. Economic growth Elevate will, will, people rather than will punish people. income inequality. Exactly. Okay, we're going to leave it there. Thanks for a spirited debate, guys. We appreciate it. So here is our money question of the